What's up, man? So I guess we finally got the green light to finally talk about this situation in its entirety. Because when this first came out, a lot of people was like, well, she's happy. There's nothing wrong with her, even though she almost 50 and all this other stuff people was telling me. And I'm like, man, this God bless this child is going to be so confused. So the Brett and her, her wife, I'm assuming they're married. I remember they had the whole big wedding pictures and all the whole big proposal and all of that. And she says... Um, because they're sharing their pregnancy on the season three of the Wii series, Brat Loves Judy. Like, I don't watch TV like that, not regular reality shows, because I have no idea they had a show. Uh, but this is what happens when you put too much information out there. And when they started the process of looking for sperm donors, when they decided that they were going to have a baby, they were disappointed at the small pool of black sperm donors. They said they had about 300... 300, 300 donors, but only one of them was black. And they said that the guy looked like Jimmy Cricket. <laughs> That's just what she said. Uh, she said that we were looking through the crypto break thing, but we didn't see no black people. And I'm like, yeah, because a lot of us, we don't play that shit. That's why. You ain't see a lot of us up in there. And she says the doctor, uh, a black woman named Dr. A, appeared sober while addressing the issue behind the lack of black donors. She said this is an issue. Unfortunately, there's just not enough black donors, black sperm donors, black egg donors. Unfortunately, the pool is limited. I believe that. Um, I don't really hear too many brothers talking about going to the fertility bank to make a couple hundred bucks. But... Um, carry on like Kendrick Perkins would say so she goes on and says we had to find a donor that was negative for four different things and she says I'm a carrier that actually reduced our candidates like 90 percent so they got you know issues uh, that really uh, determine their decision and when she goes and says that the guy looked like Jiminy Cricket she says I'm sorry but that wasn't going to be my choice so they selected a white sperm donor, white daddy, white zaddy, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> they got that she got a white zaddy and will be welcoming a biracial son after confirming the baby's gender reveal party last month. And people, everybody's flaming the brat right now. I think I guess that's what that's what really took it to y'all. It took this. This this is an issue from the jump. This kid is going to be confused. Not because they're biracial, but because you, you're, you're biracial. You got two black mothers as your parents. Daddy's somewhere halfway across the world or somewhere in Mexico. This is it's, it's wild. And she goes on and says, but I think we did a good job with the picking. He's handsome. He's tall. And I think he's going to look beautiful with my wife's egg. These are her comments. 48 years old, having a damn baby. God bless you, sister. And she's still a sister to y'all. Y'all think the brat sold out? She went and got her white sperm donor? <laughs> nah. Oh, man. It, out of 300 people. Now, I believe the, the, the census when they say it's not a lot of black sperm donors out here. But I don't... One out of 300, though? That, that 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 seems a little bit of a reach to me. It was only one brother in that whole 300 batch. Like, come on. And they, but they said she's had some kind of health issues. So they might have had, like, she might have sickle cell trait. And maybe some of the guys had it, so that cut the chances. Whatever. At the end of the day, she got a white zaddy to be a sperm donor. So the brat is having a white man's baby. It's 2023 out here. We are officially in the twilight zone. I'd love to know what y'all think. Please don't say nothing stupid. <laughs> uh, these pictures are... Uh, this is hilarious to me, man. I know people who grew up in the 90s. I knew them back in the 90s. And if, they, if they're gone now, God rest these people. And if they were around to see what the brat is doing right now, I mean, it, it, the reaction would be priceless. If I could show some of my niggas what this is, what we seeing right now. I'm looking at these pictures of her... Getting her belly rubbed. I'm like, why the brat couldn't just get some wee wee like a regular woman? Go for why, why go through this whole process? Like this, you could just. I, I don't get it. Uh, this is this is the world we living in now. Some spooky hours, man. We are in some scary times. But um, yeah, that's that's really about it, man. <laughs> this is this is really getting bad out here. It's just pathetic. But yeah, the brat is having this white man's baby. 
And I guess they're going to show us that that pre they got a reality, a damn reality show. I guess they're going to show us when she sitting in the hospital with her legs kicked up, pushing the baby out, too. Huh? I, I didn't ever thought I'd even say that sentence that the Brad is having a, a, a baby by a white man. <laughs> oh, man. But I mean, I'm not surprised, though, because a lot of these celebrities, they, they do. I remember Candace Parker was with Sheldon, with Sheldon Richardson. And then she came out and all of a sudden they, she left him and she left him for a white woman. Now, look at it. She left him for a white woman. Uh, as much as we talk about black men leaving, uh, like right now, people mad. Brian McKnight left his black woman, his black queen for a Asian woman. She, Candace Parker left her black man for a white woman. Nobody said shit. Serena Williams dates white guys all the time. Nobody says shit. The brat not only got a white baby daddy, <laughs> but she called the one black guy, Jimmy the Cricket. That's that little funny looking fucker from the Pinocchio. Now, if a black guy would have, if you put the shoe on the other foot, and what I'm kind of get to the point is if, if a black guy would have said that about a black woman, let alone just flip the script, it would have been a whole different, the energy would be completely different. And, you, and everybody know that. But yeah, y'all y'all look at things differently. It's just that's just the double standard. Cause apparently they can do what they want, but let somebody bring a girl home if she can't use a comb, and it's a, it's a, it's some shit, and you know that. But um, let me know what y'all think about the brat having and her ba uh, white baby daddy in the comments. I'm out. Hit that thumbs up, man. Oh, yeah.